Hey there, in this video I'm going to show you how to install eSIM on your Google Pixel 6a and also Pixel 7. Okay, so the first things first, you need to actually get an eSIM. You can usually purchase it online or your provider can give it to you. Either way, you will receive a QR code like this. I have it on other phone, since you'll need to scan it with your Pixel from somewhere. You can't really uh, download it on your Pixel and scan it that way. It's kind of weird that you can't do it, but that's what it is. Okay, so to set it up, first you go to settings, settings and click on network and internet. Then on where it says sims, click this plus button and you can uh, scroll down and see where it says download a sim instead so this pixel phone can actually use two sim cards at the same time as you see i currently already have a sim card here however i can add a second sim card you can also use just this e-sim as well if you don't want a physical sim okay click this and click again next Also, for this process to work, you need to be able to connect it uh, to internet, either by uh, your other SIM card's uh, data or Wi-Fi. There's no way to add this SIM card without internet. Again, this is a very poor limitation of this process, but that's what it is. <laughs> you need internet to get the internet. Okay, so we'll need to scan the QR code provided. Okay, simply take where it is and it's scanning it almost instantly. Okay, so we'll click download it as it found the sim. This might take a while, let's see how long it takes. It doesn't usually take a few minutes, it's quite fast usually, but let's see. Alright, see, it's already finished, not a few minutes, only maybe 10 seconds. Okay, so the download is finished and we will need to turn on this SIM card now. Okay, go to click on this settings button and you see you have downloaded an eSIM and I have another uh, SIM card from my current provider as well. So it currently shows inactive, click on inactive and simply enable use sim yes if you want to turn it on yes okay and uh, usually you will need to enter your pin code that's also provided by your network or where you purchase the sim code simply we're going to enter this pin code we can also later disable this uh, pin code but first, uh, you need to actually enable it, All right? As you see, I currently have it running on two networks. Okay, and we need to do some uh, setup work here. For, uh, we actually need to select which SIM card we'll use for internet connection and which for calls and SMS, okay? Okay, um, if it was here, I'm not sure, right, anyway, I guess you can need to select this first, okay, we are going to uh, select which you want to use when you make a call every time, you will receive calls on, uh, on the both SIM cards, but you need to select uh, which one are, is going to be used when you actually place a call. Otherwise, it's going to ask you every single time which SIM card you want to use. So, I'm just going to use what we already have, and that's it. And that was basically it. If this video was helpful, make sure to hit the like button. See you!